to TGTV and more specifically you join me in Norwich at the Hethel test track, the Lotus test track. Today is a very exciting day because today is not only the first time I've ever driven a Lotus but I'm going to be testing out their latest and greatest models around their test track. It's particularly grueling, uh, involving track designed to test the cars to their maximum and I think it's going to test us to our maximum as well. I say us because my twin brother Mr. J.E. LDNM or his name's James He's in there. Hello mate, how are you doing? Uh, I've navigated this, look at this. Very exciting. Fresh from Fiorano, he is now an expert, as you can see. He clearly knows what he's doing. Um, so there's gonna be no worries about him binning it at all today. But, just come along. Basically, I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna try and learn how to drive a little bit today because I don't really know what I'm doing. Yes? Good. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna be a good day. So come along, enjoy. There's not gonna be a structure to this video, I don't think. There's just gonna be some chaos. There are some other familiar faces here. Uh, Alex Carms is here, and also uh, Mr. Mr. Mahmood is here as well. So all very exciting. I'm just gonna pop inside now into this little porter cabin. Hello. Hi, lad. Hi, are you fetching, fetching some uh, caffeine there? Caffeine time. Are there pastries? I saw those. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Pan and chocolates. That's good French. That's very good French. Okay, catch up with me in a sec. Right, first up then, I'm going to jump in the Evora. Now this is Lotus's version of more akin to a Grand Tourer, but it is not a Grand Tourer at all. It is a 2 plus 2, so that means there are little seats in the back here. Let's have a little look. They're in there. It is 410 brake horsepower and 1400 kilos, so basically extremely light, extremely powerful, and a power to rate ratio of pretty much the same as most race cars. So this is by no means a comfy Grand Tour. It's absolutely ridiculous, but there is space for luggage, there is space for passengers, and all the rest of it. It's powered by a V6 in there, and there is a limited slip diff. So a lot of the other cars here don't have that, but this one does. It generates a lot of downforce, even though there are no fixed wings on the outside, sort of sticking out everywhere. So it should be a hoot. I'm excited, I'm gonna get in anyway, uh, and we will see what happens. was my drive in the Avora. Um, but that, as I said, is probably their most usable car of the range. As I say, it's got two seats in the back. Uh, there's parking cameras, there's all sorts of uh, mod cons in there. And I could genuinely see myself actually <laughs> using one of those daily. It was way less of a, I'm trying to think of a nice way to put this, way less of kind of a, a tin can than I thought it would be. It wasn't a tin can at all. It felt like a proper, proper car, but it just stuck. I didn't push that car anywhere near to what it could do. 
the chap I sat with there, he, he's, he's been at Lotus uh, 18 odd years and he's basically put this track together and he's exactly why all these cars handle the way they do and he took me out in it and what that thing can do is bonkers, you can just throw it into a corner and it just sticks and sticks and sticks, it's carnage. Anyway, if you can get out in any of these cars, I suggest you do. But anyway, without further ado, I am now going to get into perhaps an Elise or a or perhaps an Exige. I don't actually know which one I'm getting. I've still got adrenaline uh, coursing through my veins, so I don't really know what I'm talking about at this point. But I'm going to go out in a couple more of the other cars. I'm going to explain the differences between the two, or the three. And, <laughs> I know I say this in every video, I'm getting wound up into potentially buying a track car. And a Lotus was on the back of my mind, and it's certainly becoming further and further to the front of my mind, uh, even after one drive in an Avora. So, stay tuned, this might, as with most of my videos, get quite expensive. So let's get another car and go out on the trek again. It's now then time to jump in the Elise 250 Cup. This is the stripped out cup version of the Elise, as you might have guessed by the name, uh, but this is a smaller, lighter weight uh, variety than the Avora that I've been in. So it'd be cool to jump from the pair of them and really kind of compare them and see where they all fit together in the range. We've just actually gone around the factory in that kind of brief time. And they were saying that the model breakdown of sales is actually 30, 30, 30, or 33, 33, 33, in favor of all the three models. So the Exige, the Elise, and the Evora. We'll begin with these, very confusing. But um, yeah, I'm gonna jump in that now. And you're gonna see some of my uh, fairly appalling driving. And I'm gonna give you some driving impressions once I get out. Send it. now back from my drive in the Elise. The Exige is next, but this Elise did actually surprise me because when I first heard, oh, 250 brake, you think, that's not a lot. But the car's, I don't know, about 1,100 kilos, something like that, and it's a Toyota four-port engine. So um, the instructor here, Rob, was telling me that these things just go around all day, just getting absolutely annihilated all day around these tracks. And they just go and go and go, nothing breaks. You don't go through rubber, you don't go through brakes on them. It just, loves it basically very very impressed it was a bit more of a wrestling match than the avora the avora's got uh, i believe some sort of like assisted steering i'm not a techie guy you know this but the elise is completely unassisted so it was a bit of a wrestling match and just old school good fun i was just 
battering it around the place really no idea what i was doing um but yeah it was really really good really involved and it was quick as well I got the impression that I was not getting the best out of the car uh, due to my limited abilities and limited amount of laps going around there. Uh, but even so, the G's generated in the corners and on the braking in that little thing were staggering, to be honest with you. I've got a newfound respect for Lotus. Anyway, what for the side, I'm now going to get in the Exige and do my final drive of the day and have a little uh, think about which one I prefer and possibly which one I might actually consider adding to the garage because I need a track car. I don't have a track car. I'm reminded on a daily basis by you guys and girls telling me I don't have a track car. So this might fit the bill. Okay, so final drive coming right up. And then final drive of the day to go out in the Exige. All the others today have been buzzing about the Exige saying it's probably the best thing they've driven all day. And I'm quite excited to get in it. It is 410 brake horsepower. It's got a V6 in it. It's supercharged. Hold on. Is it a V6 supercharged? Am I lying? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, I got that right. Yeah. Chaos. <laughs> Wonderful. The Exige is 410 brake horsepower, called a 410 cup. Lotus don't mess around with their names. They uh, say exactly what's on the tin. And it's a V6 supercharged engine. So lots of torque, lots of shunt in a very, very light, small, uh, well handling package. It's worth noting at this point that all of these cars are on standard brakes, standard tyres uh, and these are kind of exactly as they would be going out on the road and they've been doing the rounds on the track all day which is extremely impressive. Anyway, waffle aside, time to get in and you can watch some of my terrible driving. A little bit more weight, a little bit more roll in this car, so just be careful with it initially. Put the gas on the road down. Now we're going from the other one into this, it's chaos. It's this nice. is brilliant. It's, uh, this is more of a track focused product, I think Gavin. A little break and the left. Notice that I'm not on a track with an Exige. I'm not stood next to the car. I'm now back on my sofa. I had to leave in a bit of a rush after the Exige drive, but I just want to say, actually, the Exige is probably my favourite of the day. That amount of power in that little shell and the rawness and the manual gearbox and everything about it, I think the Exige is for me. So I'm going to do some homework and work out which model in the Exige range I would like. Uh, that was the 410. I believe they do a 430 cup as well, which is mayhem. Uh, Google one of those if you don't know what that is. Uh, that's absolute carnage. And there may well be a less powerful version as well. So there's a few models to choose from. I'm going to have a little look, speak to the guys at Lotus, see what we can do. And I want to get into some track stuff because as you can see, I'm not amazing. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've grasped the basics, but um, there's a lot of work to be done. So hopefully myself... And uh, Mr. Hamilton can go out on track, uh, hopefully in Lotus, who knows at this point. But yeah, that is the aim. I want to do some more driving stuff on the channel because it is a cars channel and there's cars and driving to be done. Uh, I just want to leave with a little shout out. I did a show with Red Bull Motorsports the other day and it's cool. So I want you to go and check it out. I'm going to leave the, uh, the link details below and the little uh, slide from the show. I put it all over my Instagram the other day when the show went out, but make sure you go and give it a watch. That will be following right now. So check it out and I'm going to leave you guys. Subscribe, thumbs up, blah, 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 and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye now.